Hi guys, my name is Mustafa and I've currently just finished second year and I've decided to make this video to give you a few tips and tricks to make your transition from first year to second year a bit smoother. The subjects you're going to have during first semester of your second year are Dental Materials, Anatomy and Bulgarian and they're going to be continued from first year and then you're going to be introduced with Social Medicine and they'll be done by the end of Jan, that's when your exams are. So in Jan you're going to have Social Medicine, Anatomy and Dental Materials and hopefully you'll clear that by then. And then during your second semester of the first year, you're going to have biochemistry, physiology, pediatrics and prosthetics. Prosthetics being the most important because that's a compulsory and you're going to want to pass that. The first subject you're going to want to get out of the way is anatomy because obviously you've done that during the first year. And you're going to want to get that out of the way because you don't want to take that on. Even though during second year you can take on three exams to the next year and progress. But you have to pass prosthetics bearing in mind that's a compulsory. So for anatomy, you're going to want to get your MCQs, your practicals and your exemptions out of the way to help you get it passed in Jan because, let's be honest, it is one of the hardest exams, let's say. For anatomy, you're going to have three parts of the exam, a practical, an MCQ stage, an essay and then an oral. But the practical, you can let it slide if you get the exemption, of course, and if you do, well done. So what I used to study for anatomy is this book that the uni gave us. This book is the Atlas. This contains everything you need, everything. Like, as you can see, fat book. And then for the MCQs, you're gonna to wanna to use the uni book. The same questions are gonna come from this book, whether they're the same, different, this is what you wanna use. And then also for the practical, instead of just using this, and if you want more help and more on hands, you can watch the YouTube videos. You can find loads of videos in anatomy made by many different people. So I'd recommend you do watch that so you get a more complex idea and different views of uh, the human anatomy and it will help you in your exams when it comes to it. And also what I recommend since you're in uni and you, ha you do have quite a bit of time off, go to the consultations where you actually can look at the cadaver and learn the actual points that are going to be the same for your exam because they're going to use the same body parts. Dental materials. Now this subject may not be as pretty as it sounds or when you go to the lectures it may not be as exciting as you think. Now dental materials, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to focus on your practical classes. Your practical teachers are going to be strict. For dental materials, what you're going to want to do is have a good connection of friends because they're the key to success. Now, the older years, they're gonna have done the exam already, got the questions, probably written it down, some might have had resits, so they're gonna know what's gonna come up. You're gonna wanna ask them so that you get an idea of what's going on and that stress just goes away. Bulgarian, zdrasti priyatari. So for Bulgarian, this is actually quite exciting and it's actually more lively than the other subjects, I would say, because your Bulgarian teacher, she's gonna be very chilled. Now, obviously, you're gonna have some of the odd strict ones, tough ones, moody ones, but just look on the bright side and just, you know, try to learn the language because you're going to want to need it for third year and fourth year when you can have your patience. And that's the real struggle, trying to get them in and trying to talk to them because obviously they don't speak English. For first year and second year Bulgarian, there is a bit of a difference. First year, they're trying to teach you the highs, the hellos, the can I get a taxi to here, to there, to Kaufland and whatnot and to your house. And that's okay, you want to get that because that's your basic knowledge you want. But for second year, it's more dentistry related, dentistry focused for like teeth, is zibi. And you're going to want to know basic stuff like that because how are you going to tell your patient where's the pain in your teeth and I'm going to extract this or I'm going to do that. You understand what I mean. So you're going to want to focus. And a big thing that's going to help you is having Bulgarian friends. So you're going to want to socialize and make some friends so that they can help you with your exam and give you tips and hints about Bulgarian words that you may not hear or you may not know and then surprise your teachers when you see them. For biochemistry, you're going to want to look at the lectures because that's the whole exam, right there in the lectures. Read in between the lines, make your notes because your lecture is your best friend. Physiology is more interesting than biochem, I can assure you that. So you're gonna have two books. You're gonna wanna get this book and you're gonna wanna get this book. This is your MCQ book. You're gonna need this for your exam because the MCQs are gonna be the exact same as this. As you can see, um, a lot of revision has been going on. Now with this book, you're gonna wanna take it to every class because your teacher and your schedule, your syllabus is all gonna be from this book and whatever your teacher talks about, your professor is gonna be in here and you're gonna to wanna to know what's inside. For the physiology exam, there are four parts. You've got your MCQ stage, which is gonna be the same as the book, so don't worry, just learn the book off by heart. You're gonna have your essay, then you're gonna have your oral. Now your oral is split into two. You're gonna have a lab task, which is like a lab essay, and you're gonna to wanna to learn that, but you get it passed down from older students or from me, just, you know, hit your boy up. And you're gonna have the oral stage where she asks you anything about the subject, anything about a topic, so just make sure you know your stuff. Social medicine, 
probably not your least favourite if you don't like your maths and your numbers, but it's actually the most chilled lesson because the teachers and professors are dope, they're cool. And for that, you're going to want to just bring your calculator, your pen and your pencil because that's all you're going to need. When you sat down in class, you're going to want to have your pen in front of you, your calculator to your left and your pen to your right. And the other way around if you're left-handed. Now for that, you're going to want to focus on the board because everything they write is going to be in your exam. And there's three stages. You're going to have a practical stage whereby they give you a practical case and you're going to have to work it out, which isn't that hard. You really like, just think of yourself as an accountant or you're working for some company, some business, and you'll get the job done. And then you're going to have an essay, and then you're going to have an oral. And the oral's okay, just, you know, if you've, got, if you've done great in your essay, your oral's going to be fine. For prosthetics, you're going to want to pay attention in lectures. You're going to want to make sure you go to the practical classes and you're not late, because if you're late, your professors aren't going to be too happy about that. And also, you're going to want to be good with your hands and, you know, buy the right equipment, buy the right materials on time, ahead of class, so that you know what you're doing. For example, this is what we had to do for our second year final exam, which is compulsory. This is what you're going to have. Now, you're going to want to be the best at making this. Make, make this your craftsmanship, make this your expertise, because this is what you're going to want to be good at. As you can see, you're going to have to arrange the teeth in such a shape the upper and the lower and you're going to make the rims. The rims are these wax pallets right here and as you can see you're going to want it to bite down exactly like this. This is just one of many practice runs. I made about 80 of these for the exam and you know practice makes perfect as they say. Your prosthetics exam is around six to eight hours you see I can't quite remember because you know that was a hectic day and I'm sure everyone knows about it. It's a two-day exam in the heart inside air conditioning doesn't really work so you're really going to want to have your bottle of water but Fast, we were fasting. Some of you may not, but you're gonna wanna focus because this stuff is not as easy as it looks. So what you're gonna have, you're gonna have an empty, an empty model like this. You're gonna wanna make some rims, like I said, using this kind of wax. You're gonna wanna heat it over the flame, not too hot, not too cold, and you're gonna wanna place it over, flan it out, smoothing it so you get the right shape of the model. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna get your teeth, Find the upper, find the lower, so then you can play them in the right sections. And you watch YouTube videos for this because it will help you, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. And I also use this, I got from Amazon. This, as you can see, gives you the arrangement of the teeth and the layout and extra information which you don't need as of yet. You need this for third year, I reckon. Now for your equipment for prosthetics, you're gonna wanna head to Asden, which is on Boulevard Fristo Botev. Now what you're gonna wanna get is, you'd wanna get forceps if you wanna pick up your hot wax and you don't wanna burn your hands. You're gonna wanna get Lecrons and Thomas instruments such as these if you wanna have the perfect denture for your exam. And what I also recommend a tip that no one else really knew and no one else really implemented was a file. Because some of your teeth might be too big and some might be too small. I use this nail file to trim down the teeth. Now the teeth are plastic, so if you file it really fast and hard, you trim it down nicely instead of burning it or heating it. And obviously I had to heat it also to just to melt that extra plastic away, but for aesthetic reasons, you're not gonna wanna do that. And for your exam, to save time, you're really gonna wanna have a file just in case you need to trim teeth from the sides, up, down, left, right, and then it should look good. It should look good. It should look like this actually. For microbiology guys, you're gonna wanna go to the lectures and make sure you're focused, head down, taking notes. And don't worry if you can't take your notes in time, if you're the slow type of note takers or the fast, because you have all the lectures on your Google Drive, so don't worry about that. And now for the exam, you actually don't have it in second year. It's in third year in the winter session, so in January, so happy days for that. Chilled vibes, enjoy. Pediatrics, so you've got one lecture a week and you've got one practical. Now your practical is with another doctor, another professor. They could be a dentist and they could be just an assistant professor. And they're very kind usually, so you're gonna wanna know your stuff and you're gonna have a practical book. Now this practical book, you're gonna have to draw or take notes, but mainly it's just drawing pictures of the tooth or the enamel or stuff like that. So it's a chilled, nice environment, you can say. This is gonna be your practical book. And if I show you one drawing, I'm not the best of artists, by the way. Oh look, a little something like this. To give you guys some tips and the way I go about things for exams, what I usually do is, I'm more of a visual learner, so I like to use my laptop more than my books. So for example, the lectures, the notes I get, the YouTube videos are all from my laptop and everything can be found there. It's, 
it's less hassle looking through papers and books but if this is your thing then I highly recommend it and for cer certain subjects you're going to want to use your books for example the MCQs you're going to want to use these because you're not also going to you're not going to have a PDF document for it so during exam season it's going to be a bit tough um, going to uni or just staying at home by yourself and for those that have roommates you know just trying to study sometimes it gets a bit boring to be of the same environment and you're not going to want to you know it's not ideal for revision so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head to the library the uni library or other libraries and just you know change of environment be cool be chilled see other people revising that will get your mentality into revision as well to give you guys a sum up of second year i'll put it like this first year it was very a level very basic very biochemistry physics related and that's all good and well but that's not why we're here we're here for dentistry we're here for more hands-on experiences and more of a lively experience you can say so when you hear second year prosthetic kicks in you're in your practice schools you're working you're making stuff you're making your oculidators and it's all fun and games and so also what helps is the change between first year and second year is that you actually know the city better so you can go places calves that are more further out, that are more nicer. Across the bridge uh, near Keshaka, there's loads of nice places over there. Yeah, it might be a bit far. Yes, you might be still unaware of what's going on in the other side, but honestly, it's just, it's a good vibe and it's more of a chilled, relaxed zone than just staying near the town and seeing your Alfredos, seeing your Rafis, you know, all of that is all good, but you're gonna wanna switch it up. Guys, for second year, what you're gonna wanna do is be very efficient with your time. My motto is work smart not hard because working hard you know you could be putting the hours you could be putting the time in and you still get no results but working smart and efficiently you're just gonna get results you know what i mean it's like having a car you have an old chitty chitty banger and you know the engine's revving it's going but you're not really getting somewhere where well, you get a tesla it's efficient it's new and you know you're getting you're not to 60s in under three seconds so it's all fun and games so if you guys are wondering what helps me study or what helps me retain the information better what i like to do is i like to listen to music not exactly r&b your drakes and whatnot but more of a smooth classical chilled vibe and you know just gets the, the flow the rhythm flowing in my head so when it's just quiet you know it's like an exam i don't i don't need that kind of stress right now i just want to be chilled i want to be focused i want to be in my zone just working so i like to put a bit of music now that might not work with some others so what i know some of my friends do they get post-it notes or a4 pieces of paper boot tack it onto their wall and then just wherever they're walking around they read it they wake up in the morning and the information is there so it's always reoccurring it's a simple psychological effect you see one thing everywhere you're just going to remember it and retain it better so whatever works for you you do it so guys i hope you found this video useful and you learned something from it and this was only my personal intake so it might be different for you guys so just think of this as another opinion another view another take on second year Feel free to leave your comments and any questions you have down below, get at me and hopefully I can answer your questions. And yeah, I hope to see you guys around Plovd and have a lovely day.